VPlayer 4 Lite is a free download for Mac and Windows that allows you to perform live through a plugin. So I'm recording live right now through the Amic 9099. Check this out. From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. So, ever since I got rid of the Apollo, for reasons that we won't talk about, I have been looking for a way, a viable way, to use my plugins live, like their hardware. And it's been difficult because everything I've tried hasn't really worked out that well. My little experiment with MainStage eh, didn't really work out because MainStage is a little too complicated and it's only for Mac. So, you know, you Windows people out there and you know who you are, you asked, where's the solution for me? Well, I think I found one. And again, it's free. Check this out. So what you're looking at right here is vPlayer 4 Lite. So this is basically a hosting program, a, like a, a, a digital wrapper that, that you put your plugin into. You can only use one plugin, but there's a catch to that, and I'll explain in a moment. So you can perform live through it as if you are going to take it on stage, or if you do voiceover, you can cut live through your favorite plugins. So right now I'm using the Amec 9099 as if it were like hardware, as if it were a console. I'm plugged into it. I have full control over everything. So, you know, it's, and I'm able to change it on the fly live. So, I mean, it's perfect. I can hear what I'm doing. I don't have to go in afterwards. I don't have to deal with it later. You know, because if you want to, if you're like me and you want to hear the sound that you're going to give to your client, well, then, you know, cutting through a plug in live is one of the ways to do it. So, I real I have totally missed being able to do this. This is so great. So V Player 4 Lite is so simple. It is really it is it could not be any more simple. Because all you do is you load a plugin just like this. Here, let me show you. So you drag this over here. Hold on. So you find your uh, plugins folder, which is the most important part of this equation because sometimes it's not easy to locate it, but your your plugins folder is here on the Mac. So Mac HD library audio plugins components. That's where you find your AU plugins. And if I want to switch this over to the SSL, all I got to do is do that. Oh, and um, you're hearing the noise now because I don't have the uh, I don't have the expander dialed in yet. Hold on, let me get that. Let me get that here. All right, so here we go. I could maybe fine tune that a little bit more. So uh, let's get rid of that. All right, so there we go. So that's a little bit better. But you again, you know, I have full control over all of my uh, parameters here. Check one, two, check one, two. Um, and <laughs> I don't know what to tell you other than it's free. And it's really cool and it's really simple. So there's a couple of little things I want to show you real quick. All right. So when you're using this, right, you can use it for MIDI or you can use it for audio. So when you, you, when you use it for audio, you have to choose audio. Plugin is the default, but just use it for audio. And then it passes your, your audio through it. Then you have to go over to audio settings. And this is really simple. So you have a basic in and out routing. Um, I, I'm using it with the MT48, but you're not hearing any of the MT48, um, none of the onboard EQ or dynamics. So this is just the Clarion going into the MT48. And then the other thing you have to do when you're using it live like this um, is that you have to change your buffer setting. It comes at 256, but change it to 32. Um, and, and you get a much more snappy response to it. Now, I'll be totally honest with you. There is a tiny, teeny, tiny touch of latency. There always is in any sort of host program like this. Even with the Apollo, I've noticed just the tiniest bit of latency. And the more plugins you add, and depending on the plugins you use, you may have more latency in some situations than others. And that's a pain, right? But there are a lot of great plugins, especially channel strips like this one, a lot of that plugin alliance stuff. Um, that are, are very low latency or what they call zero latency. And so they're very, they feel very snappy and immediate. And even though you do perceive a tiny bit of latency when you're using it, um, as opposed to a direct hardware output, 
you get used to it really fast. Like it's one of those things where you, you mess with it a little bit and um, you could really just basically, uh, you basically get used to the sound of it and it doesn't bother you anymore. So um, yeah, I, I really, that's the only drawback I found to this. And like I said, you know, it, it, only, it only hosts one single plugin. However, there is a catch because here under settings, they have master rack. Now master rack is basically, it's essentially your bus, your bus output. And you can add two more plugins. So what I've done here is I've added, and I have these turned off right now. So I've added loads, which is a de a free de from uh, Analog Obsession that I, I will have to talk about at a later date. And I've also added CVOX. So here I can actually take the, this out and uh, get really get some really good uh, noise-free audio. I can use CVOX now. I can use CVOX as I would if I were using the Apollo, but I'm not hamstrung by the fact that I can only use CVOX with other Apollo plugins live. Using, using, <laughs> using this amazing vPlayer 4 Lite program, um, I'm able to use CVOX with any other plugins I want. Oops with any other plugins I want. So it's very versatile like that. I love it. I'm really, I'm really digging it. So this is available from digitalbraininstruments.com, digitalbrain-instruments.com slash freebies. And this is the, uh, this is the, uh, the baby version, <laughs> the light version of a, a, uh, a V player four, which you can buy and V Player 4, here, let me just pull up that page real quick. V Player 4 is only six bucks. It's six bucks, and you get four different channels, or you can run it in uh, serial and get eight channels, and it probably has the Master Rack too. But six bucks, so I'm going to have to buy that. But the free version works great for voiceover. You just you put in one, you put in one, you know, whatever you want. If Whether it's a, a preamp, whether it's a, uh, whether it's a, a channel strip, right? But you can use it for whatever you want. Let's get back to V Player 4 Light Page. So yeah, it's a free download. But again, it's it could not be simpler to use. And all you have to do is just, you know, go over go over here, make sure your settings are right, change that buffer to 32, um, and uh, make sure your source is set to audio. And you're, you're good to go. So what I'd really like, as opposed to me uh, giving you my review of this, which I kind of did a little bit, I want this to be kind of like a, a group project. I, I, want, I want your opinion. Let's all review this together and see what we think of vPlayer 4 Lite. Now, again, it's available for Mac and Windows, so there's really no excuse not to try unless you're one of those Linux guys. But, uh, and if you are, then, you know, tough. There isn't no V player for light for you. But for the rest of us, let's check it out. And what I'd like is I'd love to hear your comments on it. I would love to hear what it's like on Windows because I don't, I don't, I don't do Windows. And uh, I would love to know what your use case is like. What are you using it with? Is it working well for you? And again, you know, it's like the only drawback to this is you get a slight perception of, of uh, latency. And part of that is also because you're speaking live, right? So you, you, you can hear a little bit of your own voice and your skull resonates when you speak. And that's all immediate in real time. And then you have this signal that comes back to your ear like, you know, well, like 32 samples later. So it's basically like, like micro milliseconds later. And again, you get used to it. It's really, it's really no big deal. Um, but you don't get that latency in the recording. You just get the direct sound, what you're hearing right now. So V Player 4 Lite from Digital Instrument, Digital Brain Instruments.com. Here, let me show you that again. So Digital Brain Instruments.com slash freebies. Go check it out because honestly, this could really be a game changer for me and for a lot of people because this extends the capability of what I'm able to do live. Um, and uh, I love it.
I love having more tonal variations. I love the fact that I'm reopening up my, my plug-in library for, to be able to cut live to it. So I have so many more options now. It's amazing. And it was free. How great is that? So let me know what you think of V Player 4 Lite because I think this is really cool. And I'm going to be doing a lot of experimentation with it. All right. You know what to do. Leave a comment and check it out and leave your own review. All right? Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, Fading to Black.